Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I want to share with you my SNES Classic PC Edition build. This will be available on Arcade Punk, so go ahead and check out the link in the description. That will take you over there and you can download it. Um, basically, when you download it, um, you're going to have a zip file. And you're going to want to right click and hit Extract here. Uh, one thing I want to mention before we go any further into the tutorial is this is built on 32-bit. Um, with the NES Classic Edition, if you guys tried my first version, 64-bit. The second one was 32-bit. Um, so this one I just did 32-bit so that everyone can enjoy no matter which operating system you're running. Um, well, Windows-wise. <laughs> so uh, let's, get, let's get down to business. Um, so once you've extracted it, you're going to have this folder. Uh, SNES Classic PC Edition so it's about 1.2 gigabytes we'll go ahead and we'll right click cut and paste it into the root of your C drive So once you have it copied over, first thing you're going to want to do is go into the RetroArch folder and launch RetroArch and set up your controller. So I do have videos um, on my YouTube channel for uh, configuring your Xbox 360 controller in RetroArch as well as I have another video to configure a PlayStation 3 controller in RetroArch. So you guys can go ahead and do that and make sure you save your configuration in RetroArch so basically I'll just do a quick this is just for anyone that's not familiar uh, with my classic edition builds so you're gonna be in RetroArch and you're gonna go to with the gears input press enter input user one binds press enter and do your B button this is a Super Nintendo layout so it tells you your bottom button um, and I'm not gonna go through them all like I said I do have um, configuration uh, tutorials on my YouTube channel so one thing I will show you is input hockey binds you're gonna wanna press up so we can start from the bottom Enable hotkeys. Uh, I use the select button on my controller. And if we go up to quit retro arc, use just the down on your D-pad. So it's going to be it's going to exit back to the main menu, um, just like the SN or the NES Classic does when you have it hacked. Uh, hold select and press down. So once you've configured everything in retro arc here we will go back to the main menu you're going to go to configurations and go to save current configuration press enter and now we can quit RetroArch so we've got our controller configured now let's launch so basically what I've done is I've included a SNES icon and an SNES classic edition shortcut um, which will take you to launch a track mode so what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna right click copy and I'm gonna close out and paste it on my desktop there we go and I'll put it next to my NES Classic Edition here and we'll launch it up so you can see that it has the SNES uh, classic background music uh, as well as a custom overlay. Now the original theme was done by Dave Barcy. I'm just going to mute this. Uh, the original theme was done by Dave Barcy. Um, he created the theme. I've just modified it. Uh, so excellent work. My hat's off to Dave Barcy. Um, beautiful theme here. Um, it has the navigation sounds. I know I have it muted, but uh, you will notice that you have the navigation sounds. And let's go and 
press tab on our control on our keyboard and we're going to go to controls and we're going to set up our controller so for back you're going to want to go to add input and press enter and you're going to want to use the y button on your 360 controller or triangle on your ps3 controller so once you have that done we can back up and then configure your d-pad so again you would just go to add input and this is up so you'll press up on your d-pad and we'll do down left right now for select you're going to want to do this with your start button so use your start button for this um, we'll come down to configure now I just leave this as the tab on my keyboard but if you do want a shortcut for the configuration um, <clears throat> menu then you can what I use is X on the 360 controller or square on the PS3 controller and also custom one which we're going to use A for 360 controller or X for the PS3 controller custom 2 you're going to want to configure that as B on your Xbox 360 controller or circle on your PS3 controller and for custom 3 we're going to do back on your 360 controller so the back button or the select button on your PS3 controller so now that you have everything configured you are rocking and rolling so you can see here that there are this is uh, starting off in favorites and there's 21 so basically all this is done is add the 21 games that come with the SNES Classic Edition when it's released on September 29th. And if we were to go to filters and you can press A or B um, or X or circle depending if you're using Xbox 360 or PS3 controller. Uh, that'll flip you back to the full games list. And if you go to a game and you press the select button on a game it will add it to your favorites uh, when you're in the main menu if you're in your favorites um, and you press select on a game that will remove it from your favorites um, so basically what I'll do here is let's launch a game so this is a nice overlay bezel um, this is done by James Baker who does uh, amazing work so my hats off to James uh, excellent job um, a as you guys know the uh, arcade punks uh, release that I did of the NES classic edition had a similar bezel and overlay so that I wanted to do that with the SNES classic edition as well um, and that's pretty much it so if you were to hold select and press down you'll come back to the main menu and you can play another game um, and, and, and that's pretty much it guys, I mean this is the SNES Classic Edition uh, for PC um, if you press down there's a little menu here, Harrison Hack Super NES Classic Edition uh, hopefully everybody enjoys this, this is the public, public release uh, the link in the description will take you to the Arcade Punks website, they have an amazing website, really really great uh, lots of useful stuff on there and uh, make sure you check it out, bookmark it, uh, it's a really cool site really appreciate you guys watching uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day guys. Enjoy.